But first tonight, President Trump signing a new trade deal with Mexico and Canada this morning in D.C. And we're talking with Minnesota Congressman Jim Hagedorn, who's going in-depth on the USMCA, what it means for our farmers, and what it means for this country. Thanks so much for keeping it with us. I'm Betsy Singer. President Trump signing the USMCA at a White House ceremony this morning. It is an agreement that has major rewrites of the rules of trade with Canada and Mexico. The USMCA is a replacement for the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, which President Trump called a disaster. This is a colossal victory for our farmers, ranchers, energy workers, factory workers, and American workers in all 50 states and you could almost say beyond, because it's all beyond. This is all over the world, even though it's at one beautiful border, where, by the way, a very major powerful wall is right now being built. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I should say that at this particular meeting. I know last night it got a very big hand. <laughs> Today, they're a little bit like, are we supposed to clap now? <laughs> The USMCA is estimated to add another 1.2 percent to our GDP and create countless new American jobs. It will make our blue-collar boom, which is beyond anybody's expectation, even bigger, stronger, and more extraordinary, delivering massive gains for the loyal citizens of our nation. For the first time in American history, we have replaced a disastrous trade deal that rewarded outsourcing with a truly fair and reciprocal trade deal that will keep jobs, wealth, and growth right here in America. Liberals and conservatives both saying this is a historical uh, day. The agreement passed with a large majority in both houses of Congress. And Minnesota representatives on both sides of the aisle are applauding it. Congressman Jim Hagedorn joining us from Washington, D.C. The signing ceremony just got done, and tell me about how it went, and I must imagine you are ecstatic. Oh, it was a great signing ceremony. You know, the United States, Canada, Mexico free trade agreement, uh, I've been promoting that thing for about 10 months. The president's worked on it, and, and frankly, uh, all sorts of groups, especially agricultural groups in southern Minnesota have been for it. So. It's a great day, and it's going to move us forward, forward with uh, momentum on other deals. Let's get into some of the specifics, Jim, about uh, the deal, how this is going to specifically help um, our dairy farmers and, and how that impacted Canada. So I'll give you one example on dairy. NAFTA, the old agreement, had nothing on dairy. And because of that, we had 300 percent tariffs against our exports to, to Canada. We were really exporting nothing. The president talked about it today in his remarks. Now we're cutting those tariffs down. We're going to be able to export some of our goods. That's going to be a big plus. And it couldn't help any more industry and agriculture than, than dairy. They, they really need the help at this point. And so we're hopeful that this and other agreements are going to move things forward. Yeah, the president and a lot of groups have repeatedly blamed NAFTA for U.S. job losses. American factories ended up moving uh, production to Mexico because of the low-wage labor. Now, this deal returns some factory production. When we say some... What are you thinking? What Put that on a scale for me. Well, I talked a lot today about autos and, and the, all the production and uh, the expansion that's being done in places like Detroit that haven't had a new plant built in 30 years. And this deal does talk a lot about cars, more of it be manufactured in North America. And so I think it's, it is good for working folks, blue collar people. I think it's going to help the economy. So critics have said uh, that the gains through this trade agreement are minuscule. Uh, congressional Democrats have said that the deal is not going to stop the damage that has been done. Can you give me some, some more uh, specifics with some of the numbers, Congressman, about how much this is going to help? I know we say it's going to help a lot for our farmers and the auto industry. Yeah, no, it's projected to be hundreds of thousands of new jobs and also as much as maybe half a point of gross domestic product. You know, but the old NAFTA was still in effect. We didn't wipe out the old NAFTA. We're just now updating it. As soon as the Canadians sign it, it'll be live with both Mexico and Canada. So I think it's all upside. But the president's approach to make sure that we update our trade agreements, that we have fair agreements with places like China, you're seeing that now come together. Uh, the, the momentum that has been building because of USMCA has helped us with phase one China. And he's holding on tariffs to China 
to get to phase two because there's a lot of agricultural products that are going to be uh, purchased in that phase one. And then you're looking at deals with places like Japan, just implemented recently, great for pork, great for beef. That's great for Southern Minnesota livestock. We got a lot of that. And then places like Vietnam, a deal going on with them. Down the road, it's going to be Great Britain because they're leaving uh, Brexit, they're leaving the European Union. And then uh, you're, you're looking at India and people say, India, what's going on there? Well, the president's gonna go or they're trying to do a deal on trade and they might buy as much as a billion gallons of ethanol from us. So all of these things, you know, opening up markets, expanding our exports, it's all good for our, for our producers. There were some blows in this agreement, like for corporate interests. One example was that there was a rule in this agreement providing biologic drugs with 10 years of patent exclusivity that was yep. taken out. So how is that going to help, uh, hurt our medical community here as we're trying to grow in southeastern Minnesota? Well, it just reverts to current law. So whatever current law is, is what we're going to have in many cases is 12 years of patent protection. This agreement actually dropped it down to 10. But Canada and Mexico were different. But we are trying to expand our markets for medical. I think this, this agreement, by all accounts, from my told by the trade rep and others, it's going to be helpful. Uh, I haven't seen anything specifically out of some of our medical providers in the district as to what they've said on it. I'll be interested on their take and how things go moving forward. But overall, a big win for a lot of folks, including the administration and those in the Republican Party.